Hello, I hope everyone is well and I am making a video today because um, last Saturday uh, I was <clears throat> I was <clears throat> I was praying and um, God had delivered me from a few things um, that have been troubling me in my life and sometimes when that happens it opens up um, my spirit to he to hear him a lot clearer um, it's kind of like a sink and it's like clogged of food or dirt or that kind of thing and then when you use that um, that chemical like that agent to clear it then the water just passes through a lot better so um, that's what's happened to me so yeah sometimes when that happens I um, can hear God and um, I got a message from him about Australia it's a prophecy about Australia um, as I'm in Melbourne in a, I live in Melbourne in Australia and I'm sure people know that um, our city is experiencing a very strange um, time at the moment with um, a lot of uh, how do I explain government controlling trying to change rules and laws um, all based on the coronavirus outbreak and it's caused people to become very violent and aggressive and uh, yeah it's not it's something I've never seen before I never thought it, I would see these kind of acts occur in Melbourne um, so yeah it's a bit strange but um, hey Jesus is in it and um, I know him I believe in him and uh, he just gets me through it and um, I know it's all leading to something far beyond we can imagine so yeah I wanted to read this I wanted to read this prophecy um, about Australia I've heard similar ones too um, from some other people as well so it says Australia has been suffering with a lack of love of the Lord for years. People have been supporting themselves, not focusing on the Lord, not paying attention to their love language, not bothering to serve each other in love. Just taking, taking, taking and wanting, wanting, wanting. People using each other to, to, in an attempt to meet needs that only God can meet. We must pray for boldness for churches and Christians to step out and show people how to correct, how to connect to the love source. Then the overflow will come and then revival will come. Australians are spiritually starved and they are ready to be asked. They are ready to be asked to be invited. That's all I got. Um, so yeah, a bit in there, I think. Um, from people who have been around me who are searching for more answers to life, to why this is happening, um, questioning their spirituality, questioning a higher power, questioning why our Melbourne is in the way it is. Um, and, yeah, I think people question these things because, you know, what's beyond the government there's there's got to be something beyond the government the government can't just have the final say um so yeah just it's pretty it's interesting it's an interesting time that we find ourselves in very strange like we're in a movie um yeah and yeah i pray that um we do as christians um that we do have boldness to step out and um help these people who are searching and who have questions and who are angry um let's do our best to connect them to the truth um and the truth is jesus